Twins, welcome to episode three of Twin, Twin My Heart, Heart, where we find our two best friends, love. It's going interesting so far. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen the other episodes, make sure to check them out. The girls don't know what we have in store for them, but we can tell you that it's gonna be a great time. <laughs> I'm gonna miss Bennett though for sure though. I'm gonna miss Bennett for yeah, sure. He was good people's. Yeah. I'm bummed that Bennett's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I'm not here to make bromances. I'm here to get to know and form a solid connection with Neza and see if something good can come from that. Sorry, Bennett. Oh, there oh, were you. Oh, Where oh, were you? Sneaky little slug. I was out and about. <laughs> what are we talking about? You. 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 Oh, <laughs> My ears were burning, I could tell. <laughs> I'm feeling confident today. There are seven of us left, and the people that want to be here are definitely putting in the effort for these girls, making sure that their presence is known and doing what they can to get time with each lady. So what's your plan today, Ryan? What's my plan today? Yeah. Just be my natural, charming self. Ooh. That's not gonna cut it. With <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like crazy right now. I feel like there's a lot of tension going on with like the guys and like I feel like some guys don't know who to pick like either Franny or Nessa and then there's definitely some guys who know exactly who they want and it's just like it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. Who do you ship? Huh? Who do you ship? Huh? I really like Franny and Ryan. Ryan. Ryan? <laughs> Team Fryin! I just ruined their whole ship name. Comment down below who you think is going to be sent home today, and then at the end of the episode, go back to your comment and edit it and see if you were right. Good morning, guys! Good morning! Good morning. Hello, hello. Uh, how's it going? Hello. Hi. So being on the show has been a little overwhelming. I was not expecting to care so much about the guys. I do have my eye on a few but you never know. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Things are gonna get interesting because I've been seeing a lot of bromances kind of coming together and I feel like those are gonna fall apart very quickly as we go on. So we're gonna hop right into the group date today and the group date, you guys are gonna be split into teams. First person I pick is Dustin. Denzel. Vince. Paige. Connor. Ryan. So that leaves Troy. That leaves <laughs> Troy. You guys got rock, paper, paper scissors <laughs> over <laughs> Troy. Okay. Yikes. Okay. Sorry, Troy. I'm pretty sure Troy was a little surprised that he was picked last. Okay. I got Troy. All right, cool. All right, Troy's on Franny's team. Huh? So the group date is going to be the making of the band. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you guys are going to basically make your own boy band. So you're going to write a song, make some music, maybe add a dance routine to it, and then perform it for us girls. We're going to be the judges of it. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is right up Neza and Franny's alley. They both make music, so the guy they end up with needs to be very supportive of their career, whether they're good at it or bad at it. Like, they just need to have fun with it. The challenge starts now. I am so excited to see these boys get competitive, so let's bring on this group challenge. So where do we start? The piano doesn't go with it. We're coming into this and I feel like I have to kind of take charge because I have the most background in music. Denzel is pulling his weight and he's doing the lyrics and he's coming up with some awesome stuff. We're actually putting something good together. So I'm actually really surprised with how this is going. <laughs> All right, we gotta come up with something. Um, All right, so Nez being a musician, I obviously wanted to take the lead on our team. That's actually kind of tight. Dude. Vince, of course, is kind of taking the lead on figuring out what the melody is going to be, but we're all vibing pretty well. Let's like start off 
with like what are some things about Neza that we like? Smile. Yeah, definitely Eyes. smile. Personality. Bubbly. We only have so much time, but we're coming up with some pretty decent stuff. Prayer's the type of girl I wanna keep by my side. Since day one, I know she changed my life. Denzel's working on his rap and some of the lyrics, and Troy's working on some of the lyrics. They're putting it together. Sounds great. Pretty stoked to perform this right now. Do you want to do it again? Leave me comfortable. Yeah. Because we were talking about like, making it a little bit like funny. funny. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think we're doing really well getting our song and performance together. Now the time has come, I'm excited to meet the boy bands. All right, guys, Team Neza, let's hear what you got. Team Neza is, we are the hopeful romantics. I'm really hoping that I can charm Neza with my guitar playing, singing, and harmonica in the song. <laughs> All right, boys, I see you out there. I feel like I could be listening to this on the radio or something. It sounds really good, and I'm a little self conscious of our song now. Hey. Oh. Inside and out. Yeah. I ain't like these guys chasing after clouds. Nah. You a star yeah. and you already know it. Nah. Got the twinkle in your eye and it's showing. What? Shine bright like the diamond in your teeth. I wanna kiss you from your head to your feet. Yeah. Chasing you when I'm running for miles. Cause I'm trying to stay a while with Nessa. Romantics are killing it right now. There's no way that Franny's team is gonna win. Connor's laying down some moves I've never seen before right now. I don't know what's going on. We're the Fantastic Four. All right. <laughs> the so. Fantastic Four! All right. Troy and Ryan. I didn't even know they played guitar. Friends, the type of girl I want to keep by my side. Since day one, I know you changed my life. But to win your love, I got to fight, fight, fight. song is so funny and I'm cracking up listening to it. Oh. Um, oh, 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 she's beautiful, she's confident, I gotta stay on top of it. These other dudes are telling you, I gotta be on top of it. Damn, I'm fucking up, but it's all right. I just wanna know, can I have one night with you? Woo!
this is hilarious. It's it's good. I need better shocked so shocked yeah. by both teams like yeah. they were amazing i thought they were gonna like throw some like rinky dinky rap thing together <laughs> yeah because usually yeah. when and you like, play games like that they'll just do a little rap and they'll do like, a little dance but, but this they was like, a full number like this was, a full song this was a full song <laughs> and like the lyrics were good and everything yeah. guys oh my gosh Dude, dustin's freestyle like I that know. was that was so good when he said the I diamond know. on your I tooth know. i was like Oh my god, that's so cute. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, he killed it. Yeah, he killed it. Ending chorus. I will say Connor dancing. <laughs> oh my god, maybe. He was cute. He was so he was, cute. He was trying. He, he was. was. So cute. He was. <laughs> Ryan commenting about the massages was hilarious. That was no, Honestly, no, Troy. okay. Troy. Actually, Wait, what? Ryan says I give better massages. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, that's why I jump behind the no, couch. Yeah. So hopeful romantics did so great. I mean, their song was amazing, but the Fantastic Four just brought that comedic relief, and I think everyone just needed that. I think it's gonna be a difficult decision, but I think we know, we have an idea, we know. All right. We're gonna choose. Guys, that was absolutely amazing. Honestly, yeah. we're all super shook. Yeah. We wish it could be a tie. But it's not. <laughs> but too bad. <laughs> For sure, we're gonna win. Theirs was funny, but as an actual song, ours is like, it's pretty good. So, so we all unanimously chose Fantastic Four. No! What? Let's go! <laughs> Honestly, I think it was like more of a pity thing that you won because if I was a judge, I would say, yo, you messed up your freestyle. You let me down. This is you the thing though. No, 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 no. This is the thing. I messed up the freestyle, but you know what? I saved it at the end. At the end of the day, Fantastic Four really made Franny laugh. But now that means the girls are going to choose their MVPs for the group challenge. And Today, since there were two groups, there's two MVPs. So the MVP from Fantastic Four is Troy. It feels good. So the MVP for the Hopeful Romantics is Vince. Vince. You guys have an hour to chat, hang out, do whatever, and we'll see you guys in an hour. Yes. I spent the last hour with these guys. You want to have some one-on-one time? Okay. <laughs> All right. Sure. Okay, where are we going? It's our spot. What? What's our spot? The cozy spot on the couch. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. I get it. So I need my one-on-one -on -one time with Nessa. I finally pull her to the side. We're cuddling on the couch. It's really cute. I really love his energy. So like on a scale of one to ten, how did you feel about the freestyle? Like... Ten out of ten. Okay. For sure, yeah. Okay, okay, so are you saying like I can go on a date with you? Ten out of ten? <laughs> or... I mean I don't know, we're gonna see. So oh, what do you man, think? What a view, guys. Hi Troy. I mean look at them. Don't mind him. Don't mind him. Right there. Here comes Troy. It's a nice view. I was like, what are you doing, dude? He's, he's Hello, Ness. I didn't Hi. see you. I there. didn't see you there. What, what is you? going on? So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna take her away. Physically. Picking her up. Uh, what is <laughs> Oh my gosh, no a, way, a, what is happening? I'm just a little confused as to why Troy pulled me because of the bond that he has with Franny. So, I don't know. Please don't drop me, oh, that would be so I'm bad. I'm actually excited to like have some time with you again. I haven't really spoken to you since like day one. I know, I literally, I, cause I, I remember mentioning I don't know to who, but I was like, I had a really nice conversation with Denzel on the first day when we were like in the movie theater. Yeah, but I feel like you're like a beautiful person though. Like when oh, you smile, you can you. see like the genuine thank in you. you. I really wanted to get to know Denzel. He seems really down to earth, really sweet, 
but I, I just didn't see the effort from him yesterday. I don't know, I, I just hope that today is a little different and I get to just talk to him and I have more alone time with him. Like, how are you with like all, like the guys and stuff? I mean, the other guys are pretty cool. But, okay. You know, but I feel like for me, it's just like, I can see right through them. There's a lot of guys just like uh -huh. playing it up for the camera. A lot of guys also like talk behind your back and stuff like that. Feel... What about Nezza do you like? Her personality, for sure, I think just it, it resonates a little bit more with me than, uh, than Franny. She's like super positive. It's She's not the kind of person that's gonna want bad people around exactly. her. And I'm the same way. It's like, if you're just gonna be, you know, negative and, you know, a terrible well, person, you're not gonna have them in your life. And I'm just like, I feel like you guys are making it seem like Franny isn't like, you know, positive and like genuine as well. I was just- Well, that's funny that they're like saying that, but yeah, I feel like I haven't really, you know, I have really gotten alone time with like a very small amount of people. So yeah, yeah. but if they don't think that then, you know, yeah, exactly, they're lost. Exactly. <laughs> what? You are territorial, sir. Not really. I think I've been here for a while. And I okay. Think, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying to solidify yeah. my first date with you. So I love that you made the effort. I do. I appreciate it so much. Mm -hmm. But I am going to go see what Troy wants to speak to me about. Uh, if that's okay. Troy? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I loved that Dustin wanted to spend a lot of time with me, but I did feel that I needed to go see what Troy wanted, so I told Dustin that I would talk to him later, and I went to go look for Troy. I don't know if you know this, but there's this girl, Franny. Yes. And I'm, I'm, I'm quite, familiar, yeah, familiar, familiar with her, with yes, her? yes. Yeah, so I just want to talk to you to see if I can get some okay. intel. Yes. On her. I think Franny is being a little standoffish towards me, which I guess stems from the first date. So I'm trying to get Teneza to get some intel. So hopefully she can give me some, some good tips because I kind of need it. So I'm outside with Denzel and we vibe really well. I feel like every time we talk or have talked, the conversation just flows really easily and smoothly. And I don't ever feel like I have to like worry about something. Yeah, hey. I'm gonna sneak in for just a second. Okay? Oh man, here goes Connor. Again. I know this is this is this is the game, right? <laughs> but I mean, true. I mean, I don't understand what you're sneaking. You can for. you can stay here for this. Actually, okay. you don't need to go. What's up? What's up? So, but I do need to talk to you. All of a sudden, Connor comes and interrupts our little chat, and it was really weird because immediately. Denzel gets extremely defensive and tries to get him to go away. You haven't had a whole lot of interaction, right? We haven't. Remember no. earlier when I was telling you about like some of the guys by the pool were saying like, you know, Ness is just like more out there and then that this is one of the guys. And so I'm really shocked that he's out here interrupting right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So you, so you gotta <laughs> trash talk to do what you gotta do, that's what you're saying? Oh, am I trash talking? I mean, is yesterday, you I mean, you definitely had some words, you know, you were like all about Ness, so I'm wondering why you're out here now. That's well, yeah, I wanna tell you that. I mean, this is the reason why I haven't been getting to interact with you a whole lot, because I got to spend time with her, or I got to try and spend time with her. Of course I have to put Connor on the spot. Like, I cannot let this kid ruin my chances of a date. Yeah, I know you know it's nothing personal. I hope, I also hope you see it more as a relief that there's one less guy trying to like get at you no, all the time, constantly. No, it's fine. I don't understand the purpose of what he's doing right now. It just, there's no point to it at all. Thank you for like standing up for me and thank you for calling him out because if he sat there and was just talking BS about saying I don't know what, yeah, exactly. I wouldn't have known. Yeah, true, true. Well, I appreciate that. You really appreciate that. Honestly. Yeah, I do. It really, it really, I really do. Yeah, so because yeah. I just want to like make sure that no one's trying to play with your emotions. You get what I'm trying to say? Can I steal you? Me? Yeah, I got a little something planned for you. Okay, okay. where are we going? Our little spot okay. that we've been like. Okay. I'm really excited to see what surprise he has. He always has something fun and he's just super sweet. So I'm excited. What is that? It's, uh, you know, some, some greens and some flowers. No <laughs> way. The dates so far are kind of a peek into Neza's life. And so I wanted to make the opportunity to let her have a peek into my life. Okay. I wanted to kind of give you a little challenge of my own. A little tutorial? Yeah. Okay, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna make a bouquet together. Okay, okay, I you love that. that. Yes, I'm down and Hell down. yeah. This is so sweet. I have never done anything like this before, so I'm excited to do something new. She seems, she seems pretty stoked about the whole idea. She seems really into it. I feel like with this whole kind of situation too, you're, uh, 
you're making the best of it. It's weird, yeah, isn't it's, it? I mean, it's not a normal situation, right? Like, this isn't like normal dating. Like, you don't no. have to like meet 10 guys at once. And yeah, I just hope that like no one's feelings are hurt today. I think is gonna be the toughest because I feel like we've all bonded. We have all bonded for we've sure. We've gotten pretty close, so. Can I tell you something though? What's up? Is you have a house full of amazing guys. So no matter what happens, we all know what we signed up for, Yeah. okay? And you don't need to worry about like hurting any of our feelings yeah, or anything like that. I appreciate that. Yeah, because we know that even if we get voted off yeah. or something, you're gonna be in good hands. Aww. So. After yesterday's date, I really wanted to know Neza more, so I'm gonna go talk to Franny and try to get some inside tips from her best friend. And so like, I just kinda wanna know like from her best friend, like what do you think anything I should do or should know about that can kinda like, kinda help me like, you know, with Neza? Yeah. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, so Tej pulls me to the side and he asks me about Neza. Be yourself. She loves to laugh. Okay. So laughing, okay. humor. Um, <laughs> okay, laughing I'm humor. just like trying to think. Is there like any like anything that like just only like, you would know as a best friend one that thing. I can like, like maybe like your like favorite, like I don't know, Candy, or just like something like small that I could possibly, you know, try to. She loves hot Cheetos. I get it, you know, he's he's into her, and I totally that's totally fine. I'm not like head over heels for Tage. I just wanted to get to know him a little more. I wanted to, you know, maybe have some more one-on-one -on -one time with him. It's corny, but ah, it's not corny. It's like it's it's like you know. That's cute. Hello. Hello. Do you mind if I swoop in for a minute? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing? So, how you doing? Yeah. Okay. Good. Did I, did I, did I help you at all? Me. Thank you. I did? Okay. All right. Good luck with everything. Okay, cool. All right, man. What are you down here doing? Hi. Can I get you for a little bit? Yeah, let's go. Can I take go. you somewhere? Yeah, okay. sure. Hard to navigate. Watch out for this. All right. Okay, what let's did you go. think? What did you think of that? Absolutely. Hi. What's up, man? The bouquet yet? You're the one person who knows this spot, <laughs> so <laughs> I can, like, oh get a spot. Oh, my God. Do you want to, like, come sit with us? Of course. Vince comes in, I figure there's two ways to go about this. I can either be mad and upset and try and shoo him off, or I intend to finish spending time with her. So if you're gonna be here, then you can join us. Ooh. And maybe one last one. Okay. That's what I was okay, saying. Okay, okay. Okay, cool. I mean, you know. That, I mean, that's pretty dang good. <laughs> we did the for, best we could, yeah, right? Yeah, working with what we got, yeah. yeah. Great, bouquet hour's over. Go, no. go, ahead. go, ahead. go ahead. Thank you so much. I've never it's done anything like this. Oh, it's yeah. beautiful. Anytime. Thank you. I'm pulling Neza outside just to get her away from all the rest of the guys, trying to take her to a spot that she hasn't been in the house yet. I listened to your stuff last night, I was like. Did you really? No, you did not. How does that voice come out of this tiny oh. little body? <laughs> I don't get no it. No way. I mean, your voice is like incredible. Thank like, I don't you. just say that like Thank lightly. You so it's much. absolutely like. Thank you. Really, yeah. Finally, get a chance to talk to Vince. We go outside and just lounge by the pool, and it's a really pretty day, and we're just talking and getting to know each other a little more. Yeah. When's your birthday? March 3rd. March 3rd. Oh my gosh, okay. When's your birthday? January 13th. You know that. <laughs> I've forgotten Nez's birthday. That was trash. Wow! 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 How did I make it up to you? I don't know. I don't know. I'll think about it. All right. Another cupcake would be great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What kind of flavor? Um, chocolate's always good. Yeah. Red velvet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Stop! I can't stop. I, can't stop. I know. I know. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm looking into his eyes, I'm staring at his lips, and I know exactly what's about to happen. It was amazing. Um, she's a really good kisser, and yeah, I was just putting myself out there, hoping that she would reciprocate it, and she did. She's a very good kisser. Okay, that happened. I'm not mad at it. Not mad. Mm -mm. <laughs> no way. <laughs> All right, 
like we're going here, not the best venue, but like Wait, what? way more low-key because people are not going to see where we are. So oh, okay. I'm trying to not get swooped in on them. So Ryan goes ahead and grabs me and he takes me into the laundry room. All right, I get it. The laundry room, kind of a weird place, but I had to get you out of there and away from everybody else. So it's not super romantic, but it works. I had a great time yesterday. Okay. You keep talking about how stressed you are. Okay, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, so I wanted to give you something. Because okay. you've been so stressed. Oh my god. So I have a basket. Oh! <laughs> 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 She's been talking a lot about how this whole competition is really getting to her. She's not sleeping enough, so I got some candles, flowers, some other things I think she'll really like. You are so sweet. I have no words. It's just so sweet that he listened to what I said to him yesterday because I was telling him how stressed out I was and how I was super anxious about everything going on. It's just like a really, really nice and thoughtful gift. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. I appreciate it so yeah, for much. Sure. We go outside to grab some fresh air and talk a little bit. It's literally like a movie scene right now. You just see all of LA. It's a beautiful sunny day and we're getting really close and we're being really touchy and we're holding each other's hands. And yeah, it's just... It's really nice. It's really, really nice. You give me an embarrassing story if I give you an embarrassing story. Um, someone asked me that the other day. I don't know. I can't think of an embarrassing story. I feel like I'm just so perfect all the time. No, not like <laughs> I'm that. I'm never embarrassed like ever. No, I am, but that, I feel like there's just so many. Like, I don't, I don't want to tell you. This is not going to be a good look. <laughs> tell me. No. Where did that come from? No, no, no. I actually do like you. Oh. Outside of, no, I do. Outside of the context of the show, you're very fun. We're standing there talking, and then out of nowhere, he leans in and kisses me. And it was great, <laughs> I think. Like, was that too quick? Was that too soon? Was kissing overly aggressive? You're so sweet. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Leave me alone. What? You're so sweet. It was a really sweet kiss. Oh, it's so weird. All right. Good job. <laughs> so when the cameras cut after we kissed, Ryan grabbed me again and he kissed me and he was like, <laughs> That's off camera too. <laughs> I guess just like insinuating like, I do like you. Like it's not, ju it's not just an act. It's not like for the cameras. So that really was like, wow.